Hello, I am Paul O'Dea and I'm joined on the line today by Johnny Redmond, uh, fighting out of SPG Tala. John fights Omran Shaban in a professional middleweight bout on April 3rd at Cage Legacy The Aftermath on pay-per-view. How are you doing, Johnny? I'm doing very well, Paul. As well as can be in these times we're in. That's just it. Now, I, obviously, look, you, you mentioned it there yourself during these unprecedented times. How is the training going and how is the training camp going for this one? Uh, training is going very well, Paul. I mean, I don't think there's really such thing as a training camp anymore as such. I think, I mean, we're professional athletes. I mean, I'm always training regardless of fight or not. I'm usually in the gym most days. So, you know, it's just another day in the gym. It's just, it's just a preparation for a fight, really. You know, it's just upping the tempo as the weeks go on. That's basically it. It's always training me. It, it doesn't stop, you know. Very good. And how important... For a fire for life, Paul. A fire for life. Not <laughs> yeah. just for Christmas. Um, and, and I suppose with this event coming up now, how important is it for the future of Irish MMA that Cage Legacy is returning now and putting on this huge card in the times that we're in? I think it's an absolutely fantastic... Um, that, that Cage Legacy are, are, are going and doing the right... Uh, I mean going about the right channels to get shows like this up and running again. I mean, it's this is crucial for Irish MMA, crucial for all the young lads coming through. I mean, without these shows, I mean, what lads are going to make it to the likes of Bellator and the UFC? You know, that, that's just not going to happen. Guys need this platform to come through as amateurs, right through to elites, to professionals. And, and, and you know, Cage Legacy are doing a really great job at this. And I think I'll also mention Clan Wars as well up in Northern Ireland. They're doing a really good job. Um, getting these shows up and running again, and, and it is. It's, it's crucial for Irish MMA at the moment, you know, and it, it's a really good thing that the guys are doing, you know. Yeah, and obviously as a veteran yourself, and perhaps even a pioneer of sport and MMA, being that you're fighting pro since 2009, what kind of, what advice do you have for young amateurs and young people, that are young fighters that are just turning pro at this point in their career to keep them motivated, even though shows did, like 2020 was a very quiet year, hopefully now with this card coming up with Cage Legacy, that we do see more cards coming in the near future? Yes, for sure, Paul. And just, yeah, just, just to go on what you're saying there, just, just a shout out to all the young up-and-coming pros. I mean, even as a veteran pro, I mean, this time last year, I had three fights pulled on me. I actually flew to Spain. I was fighting there on a show that Luke Barnett was running. Um, and the show got pulled that day in Spain when I was there. I was called up to the reception. Spanish Health Organization pulled it that day. So, you know, this is the times we live in. What, what I can say to all the young lads out there is just keep plugging away. Keep training. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep motivated. Don't let it slip. No matter what it is, no matter what training you're doing, whether it's a bit of conditioning one day, a bit of pads, a bit of anything, Keep motivated, keep going, because at the end of the day, you know, there's brighter days ahead. I think definitely we're more looking at next year by the time the world starts to slowly but surely get itself back to normal. I think they're trying to um, push that vaccine now, and, and I think it, it's, all, it's all down to everybody getting that vaccine. And I think when that's done and dusted, I think we're going to be in a, a brighter future, you know? Yeah, of course. And I do want to touch on just your background. And I suppose if you could give us a little brief how you how you got started in MMA. Obviously, you turned pro in 2009, which is so long ago in, 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 in context of the history of the sport in Ireland. Um, how did you in get Ireland, started yes. in the sport? And tell me a little bit about your background. Well, basically, my, my martial arts background, Paul, I mean... You know, I started off doing Taekwondo as a young young kid. I think I must have started that around seven years of age, right up until about 11 or 12. Then sort of fell out of that and started playing game, football and soccer and stuff like that kind of grabbed me attention. And then as I got a little bit older again, I started getting interested in the gym and weights and, and physical fitness and stuff like that. I came across... Um, a training group that was happening in a hall in a gym and sorts. It was actually the, the beginnings of Rush Fight Academy. It was it was a little class Paul Kowser had in there. Yeah. And a few of the guys were rolling around. And I popped my head in the door one day and I says, what's going on in here, lads? The lads were actually, would you believe it or not, rolling on yoga mats. Yeah, they didn't yeah. even have fucking gym mats. They had doubled up yoga mats and they were rolling on them. So I says, what's going on here, lads? And Paul turned around and said, oh, this is like we're doing the UFC stuff. I says, oh, like, quiet. Because I was a big fan of Crow Cop at the time and the head kicks, I thought it was amazing. And 
So I jumped in with the lads one day, start rolling around. To, uh, one of the little guys in, in the class, he was a good bit smaller than me, ended up grabbing me by the foot. Like physically, I was much more, physically, I was much more imposing. Physically, I was much more stronger. But skill, he ended up on my foot and tapped me out. And from that day, I was like, man, I got it. I got to do this. I got, I got to get into this. And within six months, I had my first fight. Um, yeah. And that was it. And here I am, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Some years later. Um, yes. I, I, I suppose just touching on your opponent, Damran Shaban, he's one and owner as a pro. Um, he did go in against a tough opponent, the Cage Warriors, one ten November 2019. Um, do you believe, obviously, the, the experience you have as a pro is going to stand to you in this fight? Mate, listen, it's crucial. I know, I know people, a lot of people say this is a, you know, a young man's game, but really, is it a young man's game? I think a lot of the lads at the top level are, are over 30 here, you know. I have a lot of experience here. I know Omran, uh, I think he had four fights as an amateur. He'd, uh, like, like I said, one pro fight in Cage Warriors. He seems to be a very confident young man, so I don't think it's going to over, overwhelm him. Him going in against a veteran like me. I mean, yeah. he's training Chris Fields there in Team KF. A lot of them guys would have been the originals of SPG as well. You know, so Omran's coming here with a confident outlook. As much as I'm coming here with a confident outlook, I mean, I'm just, I, I just think that the physicality here, I think when we get into the nitty gritty of this fight, I, I'm just going to be too physical for Omran. And I think he's going to know all about it fairly soon when we get in there. And, you know, I see the fight, you know, I see the fight going, going a long time. I do see the fight going into three, three rounds. I see the fight becoming a rugged dog fight. And I think it's going to play in my favour as the fight goes on. That's, that's, a, that, that's actually Johnny what I was going to ask you. Here, yeah, that's what I was actually going to ask you. Your your opponent, Amran, he's obviously he likes to strike as well. Um yes. do, do you see this being a stand and bang war or a full MMA match? Look, mate, when we get in there, the fight will pan out the way it is. But you know, we're mixed martial artists here at the end of the day. Amran comes from a kickboxing background, but I'm under no illusions. He's well trained in all areas. So we're going to get in there and fight. It's going to be up. It's going to be down. It's going to be on the fence. It's going to be everywhere. It's a mixed martial arts contest, mate. It's not a boxing match. It's not a kickboxing match. It's not a wrestling match. It's it's everything put together. And that's what we're going to showcase here, you know? Very good. Now, amazingly, I suppose, since you're a 22-fight pro veteran and you've had a few uh, amateur fights under your belt as well, uh, this is actually your first appearance, I believe, at Cage Legacy, is it? Well, believe it or not, me and uh, Will Flory, who is now a teammate of mine, actually had a boxing match on Cage Legacy ah, not yes. so long ago. And Will, I actually remember that, out. yeah. Uh, 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 my, my previous club that I ran, uh, Malahide Martial Arts, I was doing nights and I, I had a club out there in Malahide and um, I had a lad fighting on the show that day and Will's opponent had pulled and I jumped in and had a boxing match in against him. I tell you, we had a good fucking tear up. <laughs> it didn't work out for me. I wasn't as fit, fit as Will that night. It didn't work out for me, but we, we certainly got the crowd a, a great fight, you know? Very so good. this this will be my second appearance on Cage Legacy, yeah, if you want to look at it like that. Yeah. And, and are you excited to get in there, I suppose, especially with this being such a big card? And uh, and to touch on as well the fact that it is a pay per view card and that, that there there is going to be eyes a lot of eyes on this event from all around the world. Yeah, for sure, mate. I, I like like I say, I'm really excited to get back in there. You know, I'm one of these guys. I'm that long in the sport now. I fought in all promotions. I fought for Bellator twice. I fought over in China. I fought for Cage Warriors numerous times, mate. To be honest with you, it's a mixed martial arts fight. I don't look at the frills and I don't like look at the thing. It could say KFC on the fucking cage as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's a fight. It's two men go into a cage, get locked in with a referee and show their skills. And I'm really looking forward to going and do this. You know, I can't wait, mate. It's been a long time. Like I said, uh, last year I had three fights pulled and, you know, I'm raring to go here. And I'm a young, hungry challenger who's looking to take the old line off his throne. And can he take the old line off his throne? And the old line still wants to stay in his throne. And, that's what we have here. It's a great contest coming up, you know? Very good. Now, for, I suppose, for the Cage Legacy fans, um, what, what what side of Johnny Jiu-Jitsu don't we know? So is there something about Johnny Jiu-Jitsu that the fans don't know? Oh, well, like, I mean, I'm just like all, all other MMA fighters. I mean, outside fighting, we're, uh, we're nice, chilled individuals. We like to spend time with our families, listen to music, have a few drinks when we're not fighting sometimes, <laughs> and, you know, just like any other person, mate, but it's like like anything, as any, any other MMA fighter, I'll tell you, when we go to walk in the gym or when we get into the cage, 
we all have a little switch. That's why we do it. Not everybody does this sport. It's not for everyone. And I just think, you know, I think you're born to do this. I think a certain type of individual gets in and does this. And, you know, I'm one of these. And as I know many others as well in Ireland, like I say, even the card that's coming up, like, I mean, look, look, look at the roster of guys who's fighting on the card from veterans like me to up and coming prospects to young, young, hungry uh, amateurs. It's, it's a really, it's exciting time still. It's great to see this back. You know, I'm really happy for all the guys in Irish MMA that this is coming about again. Not, not just myself, you know, it's, this is for everyone. This is for the sport of Irish MMA, you know. Of course. And you touched on it there a little bit, but I do, I do just for a soundbite. Why should we tune in on April 3rd and what can we expect? Well, I think, I mean, if you look at all my fights, all my fights are exciting, win, lose, or draw. I come to fight. I don't come to hold back. Yeah. The fights are exciting. So, you know, when you tune in to watch me, there's going to be a war. It's going to be exciting. You're going to get sound bites out of the fight. And that's <laughs> it. Very good. And finally, uh, just before we let you go, and we appreciate you massively coming on, where can we find you on socials? And do you have any shout outs you'd like to give? You can find me on John Redmond on Facebook. You can also find me on at Johnny Jitsu MMA on Instagram. Sorry, it's at John Redmond MMA Instagram. And you uh, shout out, sorry, a shout out, can I shout out McGregor Fast, SPG Talla, um, Massage Gun Shop, Fight Farm, and all my teammates and all my training partners. And a big shout out to my girlfriend, Joanne, because without her, I'd be nothing. And a big shout out to me son, John Kennedy as well also, yeah? Very good. And it, uh, of course, be sure and tune in on April 3rd. It's John Redman versus Omran Shaban, a Cage Legacy, the aftermath, live on pay-per-view. And if you're looking for pay-per-view links, go check out John's socials today. Thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? 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 What the fu